guess it's working. Hey, two big people, different camera angle. Because I don't feel like holding on to the motherfucker, so I got it propped up on the water candle. It uh, looks like a big, fat wax candle, and uh, it's got a light in it. You put water in it, and you turn it on, and the water bubbles up to the fucking uh, pump, and comes up about yay far, and... At night, it looks like a flame and a lit candle, so it's cool. Damn thing makes me have to pee all the time sitting here listening to it, but that's an old age thing. So, Hollow Med, my Doug, back at you uh, Wednesday the 7th, two weeks till I hit the big 6-0. Don't know where she is yet. But it was an interesting afternoon. She wandered up here all fuckered up. All lips all over her bubble, sitting here in her bubble. And <coughs> she didn't like the weed I had. She told me it was bunk. And I said, okay. Whoa. So I handed her this puppy and I said, have at. Got her stoned. She was sitting here baked. Gave her the rolling cigarette rolling machine and a uh, bag of tobacco and a box of tubes. And she said, you yeah, rolled up 200 cigarettes. I think I found a use for her. Then uh, she said she was hungry. I said, well, I'm just going to cook up some burgers and fries. Because and... me, I'm a guy. I survive on burgers, you know. She said, I want French toast. I said, well, I don't have any syrup. I usually don't keep shit around like that around because of diabetic shit, you know. It's, uh, it's moderation. And I said, this cocksucker would stay put. All right, I'm back to holding the goddamn thing. So, uh, she, uh, oh, please, please, please make me French toast. That's the water candle thing right there. It's, uh, Let's see if I can get a cocksucker. It's got water in it. And since it's got water in it, I can't turn it over and flick the switches. I gotta. There we go. And at night, when it's dark, that looks like flame. Yeah. Turn off the cops over. Yeah, that's the one. It's something she dragged up here. Found it in a dumpster in a box of shit. I don't know where she came up with it, but we utilize it. And uh said, okay, I'll make you some French toast, girl. And this guy took it back down here. I don't want to hold it. Stay put, you. <coughs> so I asked her how many pieces of French toast. She says three or four. So I said, yeah, I got the ingredients. I whipped her up some French toast, and she wanted more after four pieces. I think I, the girl ate about 10 pieces of French toast. No syrup. It, uh, she went through a fucking stick of butter with it. She normally don't eat butter, she says. Well, she fucking necked that down. She was slicing bananas up and rolling bananas up in it. Bananas and butter in the French toast. I 
just made it basically a couple eggs mixed in with a little cinnamon and instead of milk or cream I used uh, the French vanilla coffee maker or the coffee made French vanilla coffee maker and she ate it without syrup but butter and uh, she claims she's never had French toast so good that I'm an excellent cook, and I'm going, uh-oh. She's tasted my cooking. It's, uh... I can cook. I like to eat. So I can cook. I cook rather well. I cook. You name it, I can cook it. You get me the ingredients, I'll figure it out. Started cooking when I was two years old. I set the kitchen at the farmhouse on fire, frying eggs in the morning because I couldn't get that damn wooden high chair back to the stove as fast as dragging my high chair to get to the eggs in the damn the only way I can get up on shit is I gotta get up in the high chair and then it, yeah and I used to cook dinner for the family the siblings and whatever parent was gonna be home for work because I'd get in and mom and dad would be on their they'd be Flashing their lights at each other as they're passing. One of them coming home from work, the other one heading to work. Like mom coming home from the airport and dad heading up to the airport. Where that'd be dad heading home and mom heading out. Fuck, I don't remember. They had rotating schedules, so... Dad works six weeks, days, six weeks, swing, six weeks, graveyard. And I wonder why he drank himself to sleep every night. <laughs> I would kill. Oh! New coffee vessel. The old one that she who shall remain nameless. I guess I had it in the truck yesterday and when I opened the fucking truck door at this new doctor thingy, it fell out and fucking shattered. So that's the last piece of thingies between me and uh, Jeanette. She who shall remain nameless. Dumb fucking blonde cunt. Badly died blonde cunt. Speaking of badly dyed, I gotta get Tweaky some hair dye and dye her up again. And we're coming to an understanding. I'm starting to understand her a little bit more. She's a 49 year old female that has been, had a traumatic incident happen to her so bad that she has regressed emotionally. Not mentally. Mentally, she's sharp as a fuck attack. She's goddamn fucking corporate raider, viper, fucking uh, snake, fucking scamming bitch, intelligent, 49-year-old female. But emotionally, she's somewhere around 9, 10 years old. I took her with me yesterday. Uh, her brother come up, was supposed to uh, come up, said, take me somewhere about 8 o'clock. So I cleaned out a spot in the truck for him and his junk so I could take him up about 8 o'clock. I had her French toast all cooked up and he didn't show up. No fucking sign of him. So about 8.30, we took off out of here because I was going to take her down to watch sunset. She didn't want to go there. She wanted to go over here to 
what's his name's apartment. Well, we got over to what's his name's apartment, and what's his name's apartment was dark. I wasn't going to go down and knock on the door for her because I don't go knocking on strange people's apartment doors. That's how you get your head blown off. And she thinks I'm being a little fucking melodramatic and overstating the pro. This <laughs> no. And then we ended up, I stopped at the bank for something, had to use the cash machine for something. Get out some more money. And, uh, because I like to pay cash for my gas instead of uh, pay uh, credit price. And we ended up, she said, stop at Walmart. I want to get something to drink. So we stopped at Walmart. And I'll never do that again. I don't know how she maxed out her EBT card in two days because I've been the one taking her places, or evidently she bought somebody else a whole bunch of goddamn groceries. Because she blew. I had to pay for her the last little bag of stuff that she set on the side. I don't know, maybe their scanners are screwy. stand up right again so she decided she was uh, gonna chase shopping carts down and we turned them up to the front of the store the shopping cart area in front of the Walmart and she must have I'm standing there talking with some Walmart employees that are out on break uh, out on their lunch break out in their cars and Because she went over and babbled with them for a second. And I watched her running around chasing shopping carts down. It must have been 50 of the fuckers she went after. And it was like a little fucking kid. And then, oh, she ran herself ragged. She was happy to run around. She... She got exercise, so I fed her good, got some exercise out of her. I'm missing 60 bucks out of my coat pocket. I should never let her wear my coat when she says she's cold because when I'm driving and paying attention to the road, she puts her fingers in my pockets. I understand why weird Frank He's all pissy with me. He thought he had a shot with her. <laughs> well, first of all, you don't throw away a goddamn woman's pictures of her children and her babies and family because that's all in the past. No, never throw away a picture. No wonder she don't like him. I don't know, did you guys hear that? <sighs> no, there's nothing going on down there. Traffic seems to be flowing still. Yeah, I can see traffic down there at the end of the driveway passing the highway. damn squirrel down there that's been getting into shit. Oh, the fuckers are tearing everything up. No, I don't see nothing out there. Huh. Well, 
back over to my lawn chair. Oh, I gotta show you this mess she made. I don't know when she does it. She does it when I'm asleep, I guess. All right, baby girl. Good morning, daddy still loves you. Baby doll. Okay. Where the trees come down a couple of years ago. All this stuff laid across here is so nobody can get up through here. She laid down. But uh, she's been busy. Real busy. I'm scared to go up in there and find out just what the fuck she's put up there. But, uh, we're up here. Above everything. I gotta get down there and clean my mess up. But my mess is contained, not alongside the road. All my shit is back behind. Junk is back behind everything. Not like <laughs> all this shit just laying out along the side of the driveway and I don't know, I'm babbling again. I was doing good till that bang and I can't figure out what the fuck that was. I gotta go explore. <laughs> 